pick up the call of the race as the field assembles behind the starter from Gary Seibel, one of the best race callers in North America. Gary? Thanks, Bruce. And as Stan mentioned, earlier we had... Um, this would be one of the great matchups of the night. We've got OK Vibe, we've got In the Pocket, we've got Right Hand Man, Two and Mid Again. Should be a great matchup. This field is in motion. Now they're on to the back stretch, and we're ready for this two-year-old pacing colt division in the Breeders' Crown. They're off and pacing on the inside. Right hand man gets the first call. Till we meet again has made a break, but quickly has been brought back on the pace by Mickey McNichol. Ship Snoops gets away a second. Okay, by parked out into the first turn. Auction bid is on the rim. Fourth, Dignity of Man comes away fifth. In the pocket on the outside, sixth. Raven Lunatic is at the rail, followed by Aaron Sovereign. Then we come back to Kiev Hanover and Till we meet again. And as they reach the quarter, okay, by has reached the top from the outside for John Campbell, opening panel, 28 seconds flat. Now they come by the stands the first time, on top, okay, by, a little more than a length, right hand man, right behind him second, auction bid is caught on the outside third, Chip Snoops is at the rail fourth, in the pocket second over fifth, Dick and even man is at the rail sixth on the outside, Kiev Hanover, followed right there on the inside by Raven Lunatic, till we meet again is on the move, and Orange Sovereign trails, okay, by, takes about a half in 57 and three fifths and now they are on to the back stretch okay by three parts of a lane auction bid has been parked out every step but he's still right there right hand man is at the rail third Kiev Hanover now being set up three wide and in between horses in the pocket at the rail that is ship snoops until we meet again now in contention he's out there three deep behind the leading wall of horses three quarters on the board 127 flat and here is the battle we anticipated as they race around the final turn and head for home on the outside till we meet again is four wide okay by at the rail in the pocket is there auction bid now dropping back in the lane it is till we meet again okay by will taste his first defeat on the outside trying to close in it's in the pocket and at the rail closing raven lunatic till we meet again gets the call an incredible mile and bruce what an incredible mile indeed this horse made a break at the beginning of the race and came on to win in impressive fashion nine wins in a row for till we meet again 12 wins this year in 15 starts fresh not used hadn't been touched what a tremendous race and a tremendous performance by this son of Saint Sam who was off stride and came back. Well, it was un indeed, watch him on the extreme outside of the field here, and also as you're watching, keep an eye on OK by down at the rail. A horse that had the engine he had simply did not figure to hold on the way he did, and here he lets loose as they come charging down through the lane. And at this point, till we meet again, showing his class as he rushes up for Mickey McNichol after that miscue at the start. He is truly a champion, and as his owner had said, <clears throat> the reason Campbell thought OK by was the best, he hasn't driven this one. And till we meet again, with Mickey McNichol vindicates that confidence. And a great race for second as you take one more look at the reverse angle here and the strong finish. It is that, and of course, that great finish. You saw those four horses sweeping around that turn as they headed for home. And an inquiry's been posted. We'll see what happens here. Mickey McNichol dismounts behind till we meet again. Right-hand man did not get free until very late. Was sitting in the pocket perfectly. May have closed for second. The inquiry is on the board. We'll find out in a moment. Well, the two-year-old Cole Pace was everything we expected and then some. Till we meet again. By Sun Sam, out of the General Star Mare. Goodbye, Gina. Owned by Ernest Hartman who used to be involved in the massive DuPont company and now has become a very much one of the great owners in the sport. Let's go to John Pavlock in the winner's circle. We're down here in the winner's circle with Mickey McNichol, a smiling Mickey McNichol. Congratulations. Thank you, John. You know, we sort of called it for you a little bit earlier when we said uh, your horse was going to be coming on at the end, and boy, he closed strongly. Well, not the way I really wanted him to, but uh, the trip worked out okay. Thank you. Triple. All right, we're going to take a look here, Mickey, at the uh, break that was made during the uh, the race, and 
What number are you here? Well, I'm number three, but I have the two post. He's doing the second one from the rail, and he's uh, breaking right now. Not a very good feeling. What happened? But you got him back quick. Well, he's been really uh, pulling, and I put him right on the gate, and uh, just when the gate just when the gate uh, sprung, he slipped and uh, made the first break that I know he ever made. All right, we're going to take a, a look now just before the stretches. They're coming for home, and they're coming from everywhere, as they say in the announce booth. Pick us up. Well, I, uh, after that, I realized I, I couldn't rough him up, and I followed a, I followed a real live horse, uh, Kev Hanover, Dick Stillings, and Bucky was the trainer, and uh, he carried me right into it, and then uh, from the head of the stretch home, the horse did it all by himself. It looks pretty easy here, but they're close to 90, but it's all over by that time. This colt, I understand, and the owner, Mr. Hartman from Delaware, is not with us today, but... Uh, he is triple crown stake, so we'll look forward to seeing him next year. He's a good one, and he's triple crown stake. And hi, Melissa. <laughs> hi, Melissa, indeed, from a victorious daddy here. Mickey McNichol, the kid from Brooklyn, picks up another Breeders' Crown victory.